So what comes first, uh, the concept or the music? Or is there, um, you is know, there a pattern that you got? Because this is not, really, I mean, not the first concept album. Right? No, it's just, you know, something, you know. Uh, we decided we wanted to do an ether record because the ether is the fifth element, and we didn't want to do an air record because that was, was, was going to be expected of us, I guess. So we were like, man, we'll really throw them for a loop. We'll do an ether record, not the air record. But, uh, so, from ether, we kind of gathered that, you know, people believed that the soul was made of ether, and then that's where astral travel came into it. And then we wanted to combine outer space somehow. And uh, just did a bunch of research on it, you know, and started putting things together. And the story just kind of builds throughout time like the, like the, like the music does. Because um, it reads kind of like an acid trip, but you guys are actually, like, researching and being Yeah, I mean, I, I, went, to Russia. I went to Russia and for, like, two weeks and uh, went, uh, visited uh, St. Petersburg and took a little, like, was on a little boat that went from St. Petersburg to Moscow and visited all the old provincial cities along the way, the old czarist route. So, yeah, I mean, you know, and I read that book, The Rasputin File, and found out about the Clisty and that whole sect there and decided to kind of use them because we had the, the we had the boy and we had getting lost in space with astral travel wormholes and the whole Stephen Hawkins thing that you can kind of dive into you know and it's all kind of loosely in there but uh you know nothing's explored like I mean we'd like to leave like that gray area so that you so the fans can kind of get into the lyrics and make them their own you know we don't want to be too literal about anything but uh, so the whole Russian Rasputin angle just kind of brought it all together, gave you guys an ending yeah. point, almost? Well, yeah. Or a catalyst to the end? Yeah. And so we found that whole thing. And and just the aesthetic, the the old czarist aesthetic of, it's real bestial, it's like, you know, double-headed boars with giant teeth and tusks and things, and, and you know, Rasputin and his cronies all kind of, you know, bearded monks out in the woods having orgies and... It just all seemed so, uh... Out there? Yeah, pretty wild, so... And stuff that's fascinating to us, you know? So, do you think it's something that people have come to expect from you guys now? That things are gonna get weirder and bigger and stranger? Because uh, the album, sound-wise, so. seems... Yeah. Seems really more deliberate than, than the previous albums. Like, you guys seem to have a mission more so than before. You kind of feel like you know where you're going. I don't know if that's just what I'm hearing or if I don't know. I... I mean, deliberate in, in a sense of, yeah, I mean, when we sit down to write a song, it's, and we get all the things together, it takes a long time, you know, it take, took us eight months to write the, the record, and, um, you know, we just kind of collect riffs along the way, and Brent will be, at, you know, messing around uh, at soundcheck and come up with something, and, you know, hey, you keep that, that sounded cool. You know, so, and then when, once we get home, we kind of dump all those riffs out and see what makes sense with each other, and and this really just kind of came together, <clears throat> everything was really fitting together nicely, had this cool vibe to it, that was, we realized it was different, but we, you know, we all really liked it, so. Um, Wouldn't almost anything seem smooth <coughs> compared to the prior year that you guys had with, um, who was it, somebody got sick on tour, and then. Brent had Bill got sick thing. on tour afterwards, yeah. but oh, Brent that? had okay. that his accident, and I don't know, you know, we just, you know, Brent's accident was a terrible thing, and and we, you know, we worked hard to move past it, you know, and and just really, because that was the time when we were writing, you know, so we, we just went down there every day, and Brent, we knew Brent would come there when he was able. How long was he out for? Like out cold. I don't know. It was a few days. Yeah. Um, he was in the hospital in Vegas. It's just one of those unbelievable stories. Yeah, it really sucked. I mean, we were hanging out with the Queens guys and just hanging out in Vegas and we got the phone call. Uh, so we were really, really scared for a little bit there, but then we found out he was going to be okay and everything was going to be fine. So I was just hoping that he would you know, bounce back, and he did, you know, he just wrote a whole bunch of music, and uh, it was really exciting, you know, because we'd go, go down there to space and put it all together, and everyone was really digging on it, so. Uh. Did he 
these things make you guys feel like more vulnerable to things that are happening or kind of bulletproof because you pretty much survived some I don't know. I mean, unbelievable things? Yeah, I mean, the, the when Bill got sick and we had to kind of carry on as a three-piece, that was a real test, I thought, you know, for us. Was, I think a lot of bands might have gone home, you know, and just said, hey, we, you know, we're missing a dude. We don't want to do it. But uh, we, we did that and... And um, I think when we got home, we were all kind of like, "Yeah, cool, we did that. We made that. We, we we were able to pull it off." You know, I think if we weren't, if it wasn't happening, it wasn't sounding right on stage, then we wouldn't have done it. You know, we wouldn't have continued to do it. We would have just packed it up. But uh, you know, that was difficult. I don't know. You know, that's life. I mean, life is going to be up and down, and we always maintain positive attitude, and we just. Uh, I don't know, you can't. <laughs> you just do your thing, carry on. So, even though Crack the Sky obviously has a very long road for you guys ahead, um, yeah. when do you start thinking towards new album or new material? Is it something that's always popping up with you guys, or do you yeah, kind of hunker down and go into writing mode? Well, we, at some point we hunker down and go into writing mode when the, when the touring is finished for an album, album cycle. But there's no, con <clears throat> there's no controlling when riffs are going to come, you know, so... Whenever the riff god decides to visit, that he just does. How do you save them? <clears throat> well, usually if they're really good, then they just stick in your head. And that's how you can usually tell. So you're not putting them on your cell phone? Or well, yeah, I have some on my cell phone. Yeah. And I had a, I've had a dictaphone for years. And I've written a, a few songs, a few Mastodon songs with. But, um, yeah. Uh, 